Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with another brand new PNSO release. This time we have the Lufengasaurus, and this one is very exciting because it is an absolutely gorgeous version, easily far and away better than their older version, but also just in general the best version, I think, of a Lufengasaurus that I have seen so far. You can see the box art looks really nice. We've got a nice shot of the figure, and of course you're going to see pretty much the same thing as you move through. Again, of course, the same mirror image on the other side really cool shot up here on the top of the head sculpt so let's pop the box open and check it out of course one of the really fun things about the pnso releases is the fact that we consistently get really cool posters and you can see what the poster looks like this time around just an absolutely awesome shot of the dinosaur here and uh, i actually think i really like the coloration of the model itself more than the artwork a lot of the time the pnso artwork has incredible paint schemes and color schemes but this time i think i'm actually a fan of the model paint scheme more so than the actual artwork we've also got the booklet for our lufengasaurus which you usually have and that also sports all kinds of really cool images you usually have a nice photo gallery as well as other images and stuff which again look at that that is absolutely epic right there and uh, all sorts of stuff that you get included. I just love the booklets. They're always a really fun read. And, of course, have all kinds of absolutely epic photography and images. And you also have a stand in case your dinosaur has any balancing issues. But, of course, the star of the show is the Lufengasaurus itself. And, man, oh, man, is that ever absolutely gorgeous so first of all we can see it stands really nicely which was actually a bit of a concern of mine considering the positioning of the dinosaur the fact that you could see there's a whole lot of the front half of the dinosaur leaning forward it is nice to see that it does stand so beautifully but the sculpt and paintwork on this is honestly out of this world it looks so good very vibrant i'm always blown away by how good the paint apps of pnso figures are so in my opinion, without even taking a closer look, it's already the definitive version of the Lufengasaurus, but of course we need to take that closer look anyway, so let's jump straight to it. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Lufengasaurus, you can see the head sculpt looks really good. We have a nice brownish tone for the face of the dinosaur. You can see the nostrils, the eye. Let me see if I can get a closer, better shot there. You can kind of see the eye and everything. The eye is painted with a nice, kind of like an orangish tone, it looks like. It also sports a nice gloss coat. The paint application of the face is extremely smooth and natural. If you look at the inside of the mouth, you can see a pinkish tone in there. You can see the tongue sculpted out. The teeth are all kind of like basically sculpted together and painted together. Of course, uh, the teeth are very, very small, so I wouldn't really expect much of anything else because, again, like if you look at the head sculpt, it's so small. The figure as a whole does actually sport a nice size to it, but the head sculpt is really small. It would take some very serious time and precision to paint those teeth out individually. So when it comes to a mass-produced figure, you know, it's pretty much what I was expecting. Of course, if you wanted, you could probably touch them up to make them a little bit more precise, but... I think for what it is, it looks pretty good. You can also see as we lead back, we have the ear back here in the back of the head. Again, you can see a very smooth transition as we move back. There is a seam for the lower jaw, which isn't something I'm too used to when it comes to PNSO. But again, I don't really think it takes away from the figure, especially when so many PNSO figures usually have articulated jaws. But as you can see, this one does not. It's just sculpted with the mouth in an open position. As you move back here into the neck, you start to see the greens pick up. And again, the transition from the brown to the greens is extremely smooth you can also see we have a lighter tone for the underside of the neck and throat the skin texture looks absolutely incredible as it always does when it comes to a pnso release and as you lead down not only do we have those super vibrant greens, you can also see we have a darker tone that starts to kind of stripe and pattern through. You can see that we also have a brownish tone similar to what we see up there in the top of the head and uh, the face area that kind of falls along the spinal column of the dinosaur. There are osteoderms as well picking up. You can see the skin texture 
for the most part is really quite fine. The scale detail is really quite fine, but we do have those osteoderms again popping up through the course of the neck. We also have a nice dark wash, like a brownish wash that has been applied. You can really pick out that brownish wash as you lead down through the course of the throat of the dinosaur. Really nice skin wrinkles as you move down into the bottom of the neck leading into the chest as well. Again, the skin texture, the skin detail of PNSO releases is always like absolutely insane i don't know that anybody can really touch pnso when it comes to the actual fine detail of their figures a few more creases and stuff as you lead down to the bottom of the neck into the shoulder area of the dinosaur you can see that that brown starts to pick up and is a little bit more abundant moving along the back of the dinosaur as you lead down into the back you can also see that that patterning starts to really take shape and again has all sorts of very cool striping as you move through the course of the figure the arms are sculpted very nicely as well as you lead down again you can see that the skin texture looks incredible we also transition to a grayish tone leading down into the fingers you can see the fingers are sculpted very nicely the nails as well are sculpted nicely painted with a brown you can see there's like a little extra plastic kind of running along the course of the fingers but that's also not something that's completely unheard of when it comes to figures like this of course this type of model but as you move through the course of the stomach again the fine detail looks incredible you have some nice skin stretching off of the stomach here leading back into the thigh all sorts of really nice scale detail and you can see how that brown wash really makes the detail pop and I am completely in love with the tone of green that they've used on this figure. Loving the fact that they've given this such a really nice vibrant color scheme. And the paint application again is extremely smooth, especially when it comes to the patterning. As you move back here, you can see the muscle definition in the thigh, but again, it's not overly defined or anything like that. It looks really good. You've got the greenish tones, again, following down through the course of the leg, the brownish tones up here on the top. More of that striping and patterning moving down the thigh. As you lead down, though, you can see that that lighter tone of the underbelly becomes the primary color of the calf. The calf muscle as well is nicely showing. And just like with the hand, we transition to a gray down here into the feet, and you can see the feet have a really nice light wash which if we can get a nice shot of it you can really see there we go if we can focus on it you can see how that light wash highlights all of the scales and again that's something that you definitely see quite often on like emus and ostriches and stuff usually like the dust and everything kind of highlighting the uh, skin texture and getting in between all of the different scales you can definitely see that again is something that pnso often does which i definitely love obviously you can see how the dinosaur is walking along this foot is picking up off of the ground as it's taking a step again the nails are painted with a brownish tone you can see the toes look really good and then we lead up here into the tail you can see as we lead out we continue to have that very nice patterning and we actually transition to a bluish tone out here on the tip of the tail which looks super cool and rather than these thin stripes you have like big sections of that darker tone as you move out you also have a really nice curve to the tail nice elegant curve as you move out the underside as well sports and really nice paintwork again with slight variations of browns thanks to that wash as well as the light tone also insane skin detail as you move along you can see the cloaca is present and as you move through the underside you'll see all the skin wrinkles and folds as well as skin texture scale detail that you would want to see for the underside of the dinosaur you can even see that we have like a brownish wash on the undersides of the hands and the skin detail and the palms of the hands is so nicely sculpted again man pnso in my opinion is honestly untouchable when it comes to their sculpting of fine detail and paintwork obviously as you look at the dinosaur the dinosaur has its head turned in a leftward position as you move down in the course of the neck you see almost the same type of detail we saw on the first side but you can see a little bit of skin wrinkle right there or skin wrinkling right there in the area where the dinosaur has its head turned of course some more skin wrinkles as you lead down to the bottom of the neck again absolutely incredible looking paintwork and of course sculpt work as you move through the arms don't really appear to be in much of a different position on this side compared to the other side only a uh, big difference would be the positioning of the fingers which you can see the fingers are kind of held out a little more so than what we see on the other side as you move back you can see that the leg is taking a step forward this leg is actually planted which helps to again show off the muscle definition tensing a bit more in the leg as you move back you've got the knee the calf muscle and you can again see that light wash applied to the foot You've got all of the toes sculpted out again the brown coloration for the nails and then we lead back out again into the tail of our lufengasaurus so without a doubt this is absolutely gorgeous
As far as a size goes, for a length from the head to the tail, I would say right around 10 inches or about 25 and a half centimeters, though it's not a perfect measurement because the head's turning one way, the tail's turning the other way. And then as far as a height goes, you are looking at about four and a quarter inches or right around 11 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovosaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the Collect A human being next to our PNSO Lufengasaurus. And you can see, again, it's got a pretty decent size to it, but it is by no means gigantic. Now again, I don't really have any other figures like this. Like, I don't have very many prosauropods. I don't have very many Lufengasaurus specifically. I know there is a Collect A one, but I actually don't think I have that. And I, of course, have the original PNSO large vinyl version, but that's not going to size well at all with this. It, the size difference is massive. So I think we'll just bring in a few random figures for comparison. First of all, we have the PNSO Megalosaurus here, again, next to our Lufengasaurus as well as the PNSO Daspletosaurus. Again, another comparison. You can see these guys are kind of similarly sized. Also a comparison with the PNSO Gorgosaurus next to the Lufengasaurus. Of course, we always need to bring in Wilson when it comes to a PNSO comparison. You just need the most popular Tyrannosaur from PNSO's history next to the Lufengasaurus. And then continuing to stay random, we have the Howlong Good Oranosaurus, as well as the Howlong Good Nasutoceratops. Again, just totally random figures here next to our Lufengasaurus to hopefully help give you an idea of the size. And actually, before we go too far, for one final comparison, again, I thought the last one would be the final, but I did bring in the Collect A Platyosaurus, because why not? You can see they're kind of similarly sized, but the Lufengasaurus is obviously a bit larger. So this brand new PNSO Lufengasaurus is absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is off the charts as it always is. It shows a whole lot of life with the model. I love the pose. I think everything about it looks great. Almost looks like uh, maybe it's alarmed by something and it's starting to kind of run away, which I really, really do enjoy. The skin detail and everything throughout the course of the figure shows the movement off perfectly and also just generally shows a whole lot of life and realism to the sculpt, as you always find from PNS. So again, their skin detail is honestly on another level from almost everybody out there. On top of that, the paintwork of this is fantastic. It's actually crazy to me how good PNSO has become when it comes to their paint applications. They are consistently as lifelike and realistic and just, in my opinion, perfect as it gets. The coloration of this as well is great. I love the vibrant tones, especially as we lead out into the tail. I absolutely hope to see more of this from PNSO moving into the future because I would love to see more vibrant colors on their dinosaurs, even though their dinosaurs, I think, always look great. Even if they continue to follow the same trend that they've been following, I think their dinosaurs look absolutely fantastic, but just a big, big fan of, again, the vibrant colors on this with those beautiful greens as well as that really cool bluish tone out there on the tail. And in general, I'm just really excited to have a very high quality, gorgeous model of the Lufengasaurus here for us to add to our collection. So if you are interested in adding this to your collection, I will include a link in the description to where you can do that. So of course, make sure you check those links. Definitely pick this figure up and like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.